Etsu Easy 400 Pro. Here to do a quick video review on it. Um, here we go. This is the wiring harness for it to connect it to it. This is the OBD pin connector. This just uh, connects into that. Okay, and the booklet. It's additional quality. This is going to come in this connector. This is the EC400 Pro power adapter port to plug in the uh, OBD and a power button. This is what it looks like from the sides. It feels really good. Really this is the back. This is the Pro. Then we have the uh, connectors to different vehicles. Like newer Hondas. Toyotas for diagnostic Fiat Kia and Suzuki. And we have a self test adapter and we have the European adapter and the power adapter that plugs into USB. It's right here. I'm going to plug it in to the device and charge it. show you the extra stuff that it has here so then we have other adapters Daewoo, Mazda and Nissan adapters okay then we have some cables here to check uh, battery voltage and to charge the device any vehicle if needed. Another connector here. This is for bends 38. This is just, I guess, scan bend, scan benders for certain years. And then we have another connector here. This one's for BMW to scan. Then we have. Say there's more connectors to different vehicles. And we have more adapters here to connect to different vehicles. As you can see, it does come with a lot of stuff. A lot of connectors <clears throat> to connect to different vehicles. So now I'm going to power it up. Hold on the power button on the top. This is the newest version, this is 2023. This is the Android 11 version. Um, with this version, it's you know a lot faster. As you can see, the menus have changed. Uh, basically, it shows your account, auto scan, diagnosis, special functions. Okay. Uh, updates, more remote control. So I'm gonna go through them. Okay, so it's done. So basically, we have diagnosis. These are the different models. It says my models. Okay. And you go to Europe, and you can go to my vehicles. That's where you see your vehicles. Then you have what each one of these arrows mean. The arrows mean that it has an update. Okay, so if you see the arrows, that's an update. And if you see PDF, it tells you what year makes and models of cars that it does. That's what it shows you. That's what it means. So then we have Europe, then we have Asia, then we have America. We have China also, Australia. Have I done a couple cars with this too? Yes, I've done a couple Hondas. Super quick, takes less than a minute to pull in the key. Um, yes, this can do push start cars also. And it can pull pins. So I'm just letting you guys know from my experience. It's a small tool, but it does a lot. 
So we just want the diagnosis, so no special functions, instrument cluster, key program, power balance, electronic parking brake, throttle, SAS, add reset, injector coating, TPMS reset, oil reset, air fuel reset, gear match, BMS, gear learning, ATIS, headlight, electronic pump, suspension, NOx reset, seat match, ECU configurations, diesel particular filter, ABS bleeding, start stop reset, right VIN, so this can right VIN, EGR relearn, so if you get like another vehicle and you have a different ECU from another vehicle, you can rewrite the VIN with this tool. <coughs> AC relearn, window initialization, VGT relearn, airbag reset, entire upgrade. These are all the special functions, and then it also has key programming, and then it's the disclaimer for the key programming, and then these are the year makes the years of models that it does. Okay, so then we have report. Report is when you do a vehicle. Basically, did an FMV and that's the diagnosis report. Let me show you. These are the codes that he had. This is from scanning another car. Past codes meaning shown. Past codes meaning that it's a past, it's an old code. And then current showing, which is the codes that are actually um, right now. Past means the codes are old. And then we have updates. These are the updates that I have done yet. I've done a lot of updates, and this thing gets updates on regular. I think it's free updates for like three years or something like that. Then we have settings, languages. These are the languages, then we have the units, firmware, and then about it. And then we have remote control. This is where you can control this device from your cell phone or another device. Someone helping you troubleshoot it. You can do that through there. Then we're going to hit more. Then it takes you to the external site in case you need help with anything. That's what this is about. Okay. So now I want to show you this is the screenshot. This is for the volume down. This is to go back. This is the home button. Just to go back to the main screen with nothing on it. This is the volume. This is Bluetooth. This is to connect. That is connected to the car. And then this is video. That's the video showing that uh, you can record the screen while uh, doing what you're doing. Okay. So then we're going to go to here to menu. Just like any other Android tablet. This is going to be running Android 11. That's why it looks different. It has basic Wi Fi, Bluetooth, display sound, storage, battery, battery saver, app, screenshotting, security, accounts, language, backup and reset, date and time, friends and accessibility, and about device. It's showing 5.1, but it's Android 11. And that's it. And then I'll be making a video showing you guys how it works in a vehicle, program and a key, and uh, in a couple more videos. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Peace.